Hi, this is Grandma Sue. We had um, earlier in the feed from today, when I was easing into my morning, we had an injured bird that my brother and I had run across. Been kind of watching it for a couple days. So I'm going to go check on it. Won't stay on here too long. My mom come to visit, so I don't want to... I don't want to be rude to, to great-grandma, right? So... We're just going to see if we can spot this little one. <clears throat> it was kind of hanging along the log along here. Let's see if we can see it. We might be able to. She really blends in quite nicely. And I just want to see if she's still resting over here, this little injured birdie. We'll see if I can spot her and get over here more by the chicken coop so I don't spook her too bad. She's gonna be hard to spot in the shade though. Hi guys. Hi guys, they're all chilling now. All right, let's see if we can spot this little, this little girl, we set some food and stuff out for her. Yeah, I don't see her anywhere. My brother's better at spotting her than I am. But I'm not seeing her. She was over there. I don't know, maybe she rested enough and got to fly off. Don't know. We shall see. See if I can't spot her. Shoot, she might be around the other side of that bucket for all I know. I can't see her. I know one sure thing, she sure flippy flops when you do get close to her. She gets kind of freaked out. Seriously, not trying to do that to her. Nope, she was right here earlier. And now she's gone. Yeah. Let's hope. Let's hope that she got some food and I'm just gonna leave this food out for her then I guess. She knows where the water is, she knows where the food is. Of course so do all the birds in the neighborhood, but you know. There is that. She might be hiding in the underbrush here. She could have heard me come and go, oh, heck no. <laughs> you made a lurk. Poor thing. That's where we dump all our grass clippings. But yeah, I don't see no hiding a hair of her. There's lots of places that she could hide underneath these berry bushes and stuff. So, not too terribly worried about her, but I think I'll leave that out. I don't care. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Not really. <clears throat> and I wanted to come and check these guys and get my eggs. Hi guys. You chilling? Hmm? Yeah. I see that. I see bees too. Boy, the bees are just busy. Waspy little devils. I had one this morning that got all mad. <laughs> I took her eggs. <laughs> and she started acting like she was crying, so I felt bad, so I put a fake egg in there. And now they're all taking turns sitting on the fake egg. Crazy birds. But I gotta go pick up these eggs that I left in here today. It's not too bad. Looks like about two, four, six, eight, nine so far. That's not too bad. I gotta shut this too, but I think I'll give him a sprinkle just because I'm here. Looks like I need to do another tractor supply run. 
my favorite store. Well, one of them. Besides the mall. I like the mall. Once in a while. I'm not really a super shopper, but I do like to go to the mall once in a while. See what's new. Hi, guys. Trip Hazard. Are you a pig? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah, I don't see that little bird in here. Did you guys scare that little bird away? Did you? Did you scare that little bird away? Trip Hazard, just because I'm holding the green thing does not mean there's any more in it. Yes, I dumped it on the ground, girly. Girly. Yep. See, I'm still holding it so they have hope. She's going to pour more. I just know it. Yeah, Goldie. There ain't none. See? Empty. All right. Let's see who's on the nest. See who's being the nest pigs. Hello, chickens. Hello. Oh, yeah. You're on there always. And you're over there now? And you, the three musketeers are all in here. You're sitting on the fake egg, stupid. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You guys gotta stop this. Stop this. Rocky. You gotta stop it. Rocky. Rocky, you gotta stop being broody. You're driving me crazy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What am I gonna do with you guys? Huh? What am I gonna do with you guys? Huh? What am I gonna do? Nugget? What should I do? Huh? Huh? Just be happy, right? Mm hmm. Happy I got some eggs. Happy you got food. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's open this up. All right, ladies. Again, again, with the whole... <sighs> yeah, you, every day, it's pet your butt, you get out. I know. Pet your butt. Pet your butt. Here we go. Pet your butt. Mm-hmm. Pet your butt. Ooh, you're, you're hiding two eggs in there. You're a little egg hider. Man, they've been busy today. And all of a sudden, I got flies like there's nobody's business. I'm going to have to try to deal with that. Hog fuel will help with that, too. They don't like it. Okay. Yeah, not a bad haul for today. Just saying, I might, I might get my full 14. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Oh. You're going to try to kick her out of her spot now? I don't think so. That's not going to work for her. It's definitely not going to work for you. Come on. I'm going to pet you. I'm going to pet you. I'm going to pet you. Go on. I'm just going to keep petting you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You broody hen. Every day. Every day. We have to stop this. Okay? Because you're starting to make me a little cray cray. Mm-hmm. All right, come on. Don't you try to peck me either, because I'll get mad at you, mad at a hornet. You got anything underneath you? We don't even have anything underneath you. Come on, come on. Get off that nest, girlfriend. Come on. Get, get off the nest. Come on. Come on, all the way, all the way. Yeah, I know, you're so mad at me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's a heavy pepper, too. Oh. Come on, come on, yeah. You gotta eat, baby. Come on, come on, get your foot. Do your foot too, come on. Come on, come on, I'll help you, I'll help you. Look at that, helped you. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna clean your guys' nest because it's a hot mess in here. All right. Should we get off that fake egg lit? Let's go find out because I'm gonna take that fake egg away. Yes, I am if I can. Cause the one that was crying about it isn't on it. It's another bird. They all take, I think they take turns. Are you guys taking turns? Are you taking turns? Huh? Hang on. 
Okay, here we go. I know, guys. I know. Let's go check this nest for now. I'll put that up there and see what they do. That's the goody scoop. The goody scoop. Let's see. I don't see anybody in there. Let's see. Oh, I got one egg. Hey, good thing I came and check. Yep. They are on a roll. You guys are on a roll. All right. No, no sign of a little wild bird. I really hope it was just, you know, needed to rest and fly away to its little tree home. That would, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna think. How's that? Because otherwise it would make me sad. Yeah, a little bit. Make me a little sad. All right, we'll go put this away. No, you can't follow me. I got a flat dozen today. See if we got more over in that corner. That one's hoarding. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, there's a... There's a boat honking. I try to pretend that I know what it means. I know SOS. Save our ships. Hi. Yes, I did just walk past you while you were bird bathing. I know. Okay. Okay, Miss Henny Penny. You're not Henny Penny. Who are you? I can't see. I can't see in the shade which one this is. Is this Mocha or is it Espresso? It's one of them. I have a hard time getting up in here. Just saying. It's a people door, but I think it's for like really short people. Oh, she's just got the fake egg. She just got the fake egg. Okay. All right. I know. I know. But you need to go outside for us, sweetheart, and go eat. No, this does not mean that. Come on. Come on, turkey. I wonder if I should get turkeys. I'm a squirrel and all over the place, aren't I? Okay, you went from one spot to another. I'm gonna come pet you, Espresso. I am gonna come pet you. You need to go eat. You can't just hang out in the hen house. It doesn't work. That's where birdies get sick when it's hot outside. That's right. Mom's not doing that today. Not today. I'm gonna go backwards and see if that's easier for me to get up. Oh, rooster's coming. Romeo, guess who's in the hen house? Yep, it's mom. <laughs> Don't peck my head off as I'm getting out the door. <sighs> you coming to see? You coming to see what's going on? Huh? Yeah, it was a fake egg, Romeo. It wasn't even real. <laughs> my fake eggs have the, the dot on the ends. And they really do. They're like a porcelain egg. So when they were younger, and weren't laying eggs quite yet. I'd put them in the nest so they knew where they should lay the eggs. Keyword, should. We still have, I think, a couple of them that try to do the Easter egg hunt thing. And then I have all these fake eggs in a Ziploc bag. And then I just put them in here. Epic chicken farmer fail. Yeah. Because you guys lay them on the ground. It's okay. One of you is, one of you is just creative, that's all. I'm gonna beat to your own drum. Yeah. Wouldn't exactly call myself a chicken farmer, but. Because I don't have but 15. 15 birds, yes. I think my friend Cindy has probably about 30, 35, maybe. I don't know, but she sells her eggs and stuff to people online. 
I just haven't really gone into that. I'm still kind of the, I like to give away food, so it makes me feel good because I'm feeding people. Ain't that right, Bertha? Ain't that right? Yeah. I gotta admit, she is a pretty bird. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go see if that one is out of the hen house or if I have to pet her and love her. Pet you and love you. Oh yeah, Romeo's in there laying down now. Pet you and love you. Pet you and love you. Look at how broody she is. See their feathers go up? Yeah, she's... She's just not having it. There's nothing in there, so I'm just going to leave her be. All right. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. She came out earlier, so hopefully she got enough to eat. These guys are all over there preening themselves. You guys are funny. Hmm. Well, I probably should go in and do something, even if it's no good. I gotta start thinking about dinner. It's only three, but still. If I want to get anything thought out or something like that, I gotta get on it. Hmm. Maybe it's time for takeout. Yeah. No, I did that the other night. I can't do that again. I do too much takeout. I get on the scale and I get scared. I try really hard not to pack on the pounds real fast, but dude, I like food. Just saying. I like it. So I don't know how to make this work. I don't even know how to make a chat, but I wonder if my dogs are out. I'm gonna go try one more time to spot that little bird, just cause I feel so bad. Okay guys, you're all handled. You've got, you've got plenty of food in there, don't even lie to me. Mm, that looks kinda like a lot of Maybe I should bring out a bucket of food. Hmm. Changed my mind. That's where the ADHD comes in. It's like squirrel. That's how God made me. Yep, yeah, that's how I was made. So, you know. Sometimes that's just how you roll. Alright. Oh, okay. Let's just put a little bit in each of their containers and they'll be fine for the night. And it'll make me feel good. It'll make them feel good. They'll get all excited. They see the white bucket. They know. Don't you? Don't you, Goldie? You know all about this. Don't you? Hey, did you come out? I'm so proud of you. Okay, come on. Let's eat. Oh, you guys got lots of food in here. You're liars. A bunch of liars. Let's push that down. We'll push it down, okay? All right. Let's see what we got going on in here now. Look at that. You got plenty. What are you talking about? You guys are a bunch of liars. It's the other one you don't have enough in. Okay. Because that one looks like a bunch of grit and stuff. Yeah. All right. Come on. Come on. Daddy says we can get hog fuel on Monday. Monday! They do not like hog fuel day. It really rocks their world. Cause I'm messing. You have food down here too. You guys are liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You're just picking out the stuff you like and not eating the stuff you should. Mm-hmm. It's all right. We'll just dump it in there, just like that. Just like that. Look, there's extra. How about that? Stupid birds. See? Look. Step on it. It's okay. Step on it, Gertie. Get it, Gertie. Get it, Gertie. You can be first. Gertie, now's your chance. 
do it. She's like, no, you're watching me. You're watching me. Trip Hazard, are you going to do it? You just want the bucket. You just want the bucket. Hmm? Look, Trip Hazard. Look. Hmm. What's in there? What's in there, Trip Hazard? Look at that. Look. Well, I'll be. Look at that, huh? Just, Gertie, you could have been first. I tried, Gertie. I tried. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's go see if that little bird's out there. Because I know my brother's going to want to know. And if I can't see it, then I know that it's probably flew away and went to its birdie home. Oh, we got a dozen eggs today. How about that? I eat so much eggs, I'm probably going to have high cholesterol at my next doctor's appointment. <laughs> Isn't that what it is? Cholesterol? I don't know. I think that if I work work out a little bit and not be so sedentary, I won't have real bad high cholesterol, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to stick these in this chair so that I don't forget it when I walk by. How's that? Right in the sun where they can just bake. Good idea. All right, we're going to go along this log here and see if we can't see this little fluffy thing. This is where it was hiding before. Oh, fluffy bird. This is where I left the food for it last night, is around this area, because it was hanging out here. I do not see it anywhere. And I ain't looking in that area there, because that's where the bees nest is, so. Hence, I haven't clipped back any of this, because you can see the bees. I don't know if you can see the bees going in and out of there, but. I mean, they're real chickens, but I'm super chicken when it comes to bees' nests. Yeah, I cut all this back here pretty much, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a little birdie anywhere. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Uh-uh. I think E.T. flew home. Flew home, which is okay. Remember, I told you about the metal shop with us here, and then we have the um, oh, metal detector. There's a big piece of something here. You know, if you see that, my husband found that big old thing just laying, just laying off to the side. There's all kinds of shards and stuff here. All right, bird, where are you? No, I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, it might have got enough rest, water, and food and said, later. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. Could be underneath here too, for all I know. Uh, I'm not spotting it. That's okay, as long as my dogs don't get a hold of it. That just like I already experienced that. That's how I cut my cut my thumb is they got a hold of it and kind of was by the gate area and so I tried to be fast and hero. You know, save the bird. And, um, rip my thumb open with the, the gate latch like a dummy. But, you know, they did, they did drop it. They did stop. And they told them to leave it, and they did, so I was pretty proud. Didn't think that was going to happen. I thought I was going to have a real disgusting moment but they didn't they just kind of were just kind of like oh this is cute what is it you know type thing so and then peaches of course picked it up and I was like okay that's it 
I don't think she heard it really per se. You're a brat bird. Yes, you are. You're a brat bird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you guys like that fresh water today, huh? Mm hmm. Yep. Fill that puppy up and they're good for the day. Don't have to worry about them running out. And you just empty it and start again tomorrow. Works pretty good. Home Depot had cheap buckets, so I used them. And my husband bought these little spigot things that they're that they're chomping out of off of, off of the zon, and uh, just put three of them in each bucket, and there we go. You got some other things that you know you can put like the little it's supposed to save your feet or something, and yeah, has like a little hood on it. And they're supposed to stick their head in there and get their feed. Shoot, these guys had it all over the place. There was no saving the feed. They emptied the sucker onto the ground, the whole thing. So I was like, yep, yeah, no, mm -mm. that's when we went to the grandpa feeders. And that has saved me. They're still messy, but not like that. Not like a whole, nothing like a whole, almost a whole half a bucket worth of seed all over the place every day. I was like, yeah, that's not saving me much. The, the, um... Other birds liked it. The little little chickadee birds or whatever they're called. Finches. They can get actually get through this. And they do. And then sometimes the birds are like, yeah, whatever. And then other times the birds are like, get out of my house. They'll chase them out. Isn't that right, Romy? Hmm? I think Romeo wanted to chase me out earlier. Well, when I was in the chicken coop, he was kind of acting weird. Let's see if that one's still in there. I got a peek. Nope. I think they're all out. I don't. No. I don't. I, yeah. Nope. There's one in there. She's in that one now see her now in there. She's in that second one, just underneath the window. I'm going to have to start shutting these windows down as it gets colder. I shut them now. It's just too dang hot. Alright, well I'm just going to assume that the bird flew away. And just have happy thoughts for it. So, I'll grab these eggs. I think I'm gonna go in the house and start dinner. Not too bad today. They're, you know, they're not store-bought eggs. They come out of the, fresh out of the chicken's rear. So, but yeah, pretty good. Not too bad. Kind of pink and brown, tan, and cream color is what I got. Someday I might get an Easter egg or where they have the the blue or the greens or they have olive eggers where they have the olive color they have different colored ones so well I better head out it's Grandma Sue and I will talk to you soon have a good day have a good week and hopefully you get to put your feet up tonight I, I totally intend to I hope I hope I get to I wish, I really wish I knew where that bird went. That's, that's part of doing. So hopefully we did our part and uh, gave it the food and water so it could rest and mosey on and do what it's got to do. Romeo, you want to say goodbye? Huh?
Do you want to say goodbye? You're not going to crow on demand, are you? Mm-mm. He says, no, I'm not going to crow on demand because you want me to. Mm-hmm. You're not going to do it, are you? Romeo. Romeo. He's like, nope, mm-mm, you can't make me do it. All right. Have a good evening. Say bye, Romeo. <laughs> he won't do it. I want him to crow so bad. He's like, nope, mm-mm, nope. You're gonna go up in that. You're gonna go up in the nets. The little. No, he's going underneath. Okay. Bye, Romeo.